please note that this takes place at the aquarium, where Ashley, Jenny, Yeru, and Calypso's classes are on a field trip and not at school, unlike other users' videos. Okay boys and girls, including those in Mrs. Momoboshi's, Mr. Dupont's, and Miss Calypso's classes, we all hope you remember to bring your lunches because our aquarium field trip is not over yet. In fact, we've got a long way to go before the bus picks us up. So, in that case, take out your lunches right now. Me, Jenny, Yaru, and Calypso will be right back and we'll be near the fountain. Call any of us if there's anything wrong. Oh for the love of God. Not a beef bag. I was supposed to eat that crap back when we vacationed in Myrtle Beach. Hey Darwin and Anis. What is it Gumball? Yeah. Yeah. What is it, Gumball? Just a heads up, I am definitely no longer allowed to eat any meat products of some sort. I went to see a doctor in Elmore just yesterday, and she told me that my cholesterol level is extremely high. I can absolutely no longer eat beef, chicken, fish, or any meat products in general. If I just take a single bite out of any meat product, regardless of size, then I will suffer a fatal heart attack, suffer a cardiac arrest, and be instantly killed on the spot. Bingo. That gives me an idea. I'm going to swap my lunch with Gumball so that Light Blue Cat can feel my wrath. This will teach that cat not to be so bloody paranoid all the freaking time. I'll call in my chubby chickens, then one of them could swap his lunch with mine. <whistles> clock, 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 clock. Clock. Chubby chickens, swap my lunch with Gumballs. That will teach him a lesson on giving the owner and primary creator type 2 diabetes. Audio, audio. Clock, 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 clock. Clock. I'm so excited and delighted to try out my plant burger. Hey, why do I taste beef in that burger? Oh my god. Gumball, please don't swallow that. Gumball, what you just ate is an actual beef burger. Oh, for the love of Banana Joe, that burger was so disgusting as hell. Ow, 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 ow. My chest is in insane pain right now. I think I'm going to pass out. Oh my goodness. Gumball isn't even breathing at all. Right, Anise? Yes, Darwin. Not to worry, Gumball, I'm going to call Trickshot, who is a paramedic, and I'll send him on his way to where you are. Later, after Trickshot, who is a paramedic, got off his lunch break and arrived to where Gumball lost consciousness. This blue cat has no pulse. I'm going to have to rush him to the hospital now. Any preference? The closest one near our field trip site is Southwest Dravenberg New Haven Medical Center. Okay. Um, can somebody from my class, Miss Akabana's class, Mr. Dupont's class, and Miss Calypso's class tell me, Ashley, Yaru, and Calypso what that crap is all about? Mrs. Mama Boshi, young ball in Miss Calypso's class suffered a fatal heart attack and cardiac arrest during our lunch break. He told Darwin and Anna East, his siblings, who are also in Miss Calypso's class, his cholesterol level is extremely high. So he is not allowed to have any meat products ever again. Well, the fact is, according to my Banana Splits Adventure Hour book of facts, he was supposed to eat a plant burger. But instead, he unknowingly ate a beef burger. Someone must have swapped his lunch from a plant burger to a beef burger. And we bananas know exactly who the bloody hell did it. It was that crazy evil villain Dr. Leo, who was in Miss Akabana's class. What? Dr. Leo, how the bloody hell could you do such a thing like that? How? How? Don't you freaking know that Gumball, who is in Miss Calypso's class, has an extremely high cholesterol level? You seriously would have freaking killed that blue cat. Wait. Hold on everybody. Ashley's getting a phone call. I need all of you to stay quiet. Hey there, this is Ashley Akabana speaking. Holy smokes.
Yes, I'll inform Nicole and Richard, his parents, right away. Bye. Calypso, can you call Nicole and Richard, Gumball's parents? I'm on it. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Watterson. This is Calypso, teacher of Gumball, Darwin, and Anais Watterson. I'm afraid I have some sad news. Yes, I'm afraid so. Yes, I'm afraid so. And in fact, he didn't listen to what he was being told. Okay then, bye. Boys and girls, including those in Miss Akabana's, Mr. Dupont's, and Miss Calypso's classes, I'm afraid that Gumball Watterson, age 12, has officially passed away from a fatal heart attack and cardiac arrest combined. We all know this is upsetting news, but we will go attend his funeral this weekend. I can't believe Gumball is gone. I'm so going to miss him so much. Please don't cry, Anise. Everything, Everything will, be will be fine. I'm here, I'm for, here you. for you. Dr. Leo, you freaking asshole. You have no bloody idea how much trouble you're freaking in right now. Oh, what the bloody hell ever. That blue cat whose show is a failure on Cartoon Network and Boomerang deserved to die anyway all because of his show only having half a dozen seasons and season 7 still to be determined whether or not it will air on TV. That's so bloody it. I'm calling Sheriff Labrador, Officer Doberman, Officer Papillon, Officer Nickel, Officer Flanagan, and Sergeant C.J. Orendolf right now. And there is definitely no turning back. Later, after Sheriff Labrador, Officer Toberman, Officer Popillon, Officer Nickel, Officer Flanagan, and Sergeant C.J. O'Randolph arrived to arrest Dr. Leo. Woof! Dr. Leo, you are under arrest for swapping your lunch with Gumball Watterson at a school field trip at the New Haven Aquarium and seriously freaking killed him. Do you even realize that he has a high cholesterol level and could be instantly killed in a blink of an eye if he ate any meat products in general? I just heard everything to swapping lunches with Gumball Watterson and killing him while I was returning from my lunch break at one of the fancy restaurants downtown. Dr. Leo, listen up. When you're in jail, you are officially expelled from this school. According to DeviantArt, this is an indefinite ban, it will not expire. Kenny Clark, my assistant administrator, made this comment, saying, you should know that 12-year-old Gumball Watterson has a high cholesterol level and you just freaking killed him by swapping his lunch from a plant burger to a beef burger. Put your hands behind your back and get in the police car right now, and we are going to attend court to see your sentencing. Oh, peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Order in the court. As you can see, your honor, it's without question that this defendant, Dr. Leo Thomas, did this crime. But it wasn't me, it was Darwin and Anna East Waterson who killed their brother, Gumball Waterson. Dang it, Dr. Leo. Don't you ever, and I mean ever, freaking lie to the court of law. In fact, we know you're the one who killed 12-year-old Gumball Tristopher Watterson by giving him a heart attack and cardiac arrest by swapping his lunch at a school field trip at the New Haven Aquarium and got him killed. So, stop lying, or I'll wash your mouth out with soap. And now, we will hear the full extent of 12-year-old Gumball Watterson's heart attack, cardiac arrest, and death caused by you. Dr. Leo, I've said it once and I'll say it again. Listen up. I know I already told you, but now I got to repeat myself. Dr. Leo, for your information, you know that Gumball has an extremely high cholesterol level. He swapped his lunch and did the unthinkable. When Gumball took a bite out of the beef burger he swapped with his lunch, he started feeling chest pains and then passed out, resulting in his death. 
And the next thing Ashley Akabana, Jenny Momoboshi, Yaru Dupon, and Calypso all knew, Trickshot, who is a well-trained paramedic, came to the picnic area near the Anderson River to get Gumball to the New Haven Medical Center, a preferred hospital. And then Ashley got the call informing her that Gumball Watterson was declared brain dead. And then the last thing Calypso knew, she called the parents of Gumball, Darwin, and Anais, Nicole and Richard Watterson, to inform them that Gumball was dead. And then Jenny informed that Gumball Watterson, aged 12, was dead. And now, Dr. Leo, since you killed him, you're now expelled from East Dravenberg Academy for an extended period of time. Shame on you, idiot boy and mean old witch. And now, what do the people of the court have to say about this? Guilty. 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 Dr. Leo Thomas, the court officially finds you guilty. In fact, you will be sentenced to death on the I killed you once after killing Cody Klein, and now I'm going to kill you again with the same weapon. Oh no. This is too violent and disgusting. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh no. He killed the judge again. He also made Sheriff Labrador vomit. What's wrong with him? He's insane. What the bloody hell? Note, the Dr. Leo Gets Grounded series is not over, even when there's a second season. There's more to come each week, or each amount of days for that matter.